Hey folks, Robbie Payne with Chrome Unbox coming at you today with a full review of the Viglin Chromebook 360. This device joins us from all the way over in the UK where it isn't exclusive for the time being and is aimed at the education sector. That's an important point to remember because let's face it, kids are tough on tech and Viglin knows this. They've been producing education Chromebooks for some time now and that has likely guided some of the decisions they made and some of the design choices they made when building this Chromebook. So let's keep that in mind and get started. The Viglin Chromebook 360 isn't going to win any awards for stunning design, but that's not to say it's not reasonably attractive either. The best word for it, much like the recently reviewed Lenovo ThinkPad Chromebook 13, is functional. The outer shell is plastic but firm and does a good job at resisting fingerprints. It's not the thinnest device, nor the thickest. It simply feels average in size. Weight is a little bit of a different story. The device is heavy and there's no way around that. At 1.6 kilos or 3.5 pounds, this guy is hefty. Again, I reference the target audience of the device. Part of this device's design is a splash-proof and drop-resistant design. Those things don't come without added bulk. But for the intended audience, it's a worthy trade-off. While 3.5 pounds is heavy for laptops these days, it's not even close to something like the Acer Chromebook 15. That device comes in at a whopping 5 pounds, and in a backpack, it's never even really bothered me. The clear attraction here is the 360-degree hinge. It performs as expected, giving the user access to tablet, stand, and tent modes. Since Lenovo's original yoga devices hit the market a few years ago, the 360 hinge has become pretty standard. It works and does what you need it to. I've recently become a real fan of this form factor, and you can read on the website as to why I feel that way. But given it versus a tablet, I truly enjoy this form factor. All in all, it's very solid, and it feels like it could take a beating, and likely win. It'll survive many days in a classroom. Around the outside, most of the standard ports and such are present, with a few welcome surprises. First up, on the right side, we have three USB 3.0 ports right in a line. Most Chromebooks ship with two USB ports, and one of those is a 2.0 port. This is a very welcome addition. The other ports include the micro SD card slot, combo headphone microphone jack, and a full-size HDMI port. Downward firing speakers get the job done without getting muffled in any orientation of the convertible and are quite loud and quite clear. One thing we rarely cover is the physical battery. Sure, large batteries are great. We like to talk about battery life a lot. While that's solid, the interesting part is this battery is swappable. A pair of simple flathead screws hold the battery in place and could be undone with all sorts of blunt instruments, including a screwdriver. The point is, it's a thoughtful addition. Batteries don't have the best longevity, so the ability to quickly swap it would be welcome in any classroom. Another very big surprise has been the Viglin screen. To be honest, in the education market, screens can be an oft overlooked part of the hardware. Poor viewing angles, washed out colors, and low brightness plague most education devices most times. I'm glad to say the Viglin Chromebook 360 has none of these issues. The display, an 11.6 inch, 1366 by 768 panel, is vibrant and clear. Viewing angles are fantastic, and overall, the colors look pretty good. It isn't the brightest display on the market, but is on par with other IPS panels on much pricier Chromebooks. At 11.6 inches, the resolution fits very nicely. We all like high-res displays, but for this device and its internals, it all works together very well. The glass covering also goes edge to edge and provides a great surface for all the great touch-oriented activities Chromebooks simply keep getting better at. This will come in very handy when Android apps begin showing up later this year. As with all 16x9 displays, the tablet mode and portrait feels a little odd. 16x10, 3x2, and 4x3 do this much better, but are a bit less productive in tablet mode. It's not a deal breaker and not really a problem unique to Viglin, but we love seeing touch devices with at least 16x10 displays. Another great surprise here is the quality of the input methods. We'll start with the keyboard. Most education devices ship with mushy, unresponsive keyboards. We're happy to say that the Viglin has no such issue. Instead, we were met with a keyboard that has decent travel and very clicky keys. The typing experience overall has been very, very good. The only issue we had was user error as the keyboard is laid out for UK students. Our fingers weren't quite ready to adapt to some of the different key placements. This doesn't take anything away from the quality of the input method. The trackpad is equally impressive. Not made of glass, the plastic used on its surface is highly resistant to fingerprints and remains smooth after hours of use. The click mechanism works very well, not showing any of the issues we've seen in other Chromebook trackpads. The build was very tight, and multi-finger gestures work as expected every time. Once again, we came away surprised and pleased. Internally, this device has a few surprises up its sleeve as well. 
namely Braswell processor, four gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage right off the bat. So those aren't upgraded specs. And the big surprise is Braswell is starting to hold its own. A few months ago when we reviewed the Acer Chromebook 14, the Braswell chip was kind of sluggish and really was not impressive at all. But now, the Braswell chip is getting about 9,000 on Octane and it's holding its own when multiple tabs are open, no issues really at all. You could say, I'm pretty impressed. Battery life has been good as well. We're seeing around nine to 10 hours of use at 75% screen brightness. So with a little less brightness, 10 hours would be totally achievable. With the ability to swap battery relatively easily, you could even keep an extra one on hand for field trips and other times when chargers aren't readily available. That's not really something you can say of most other Chromebooks. Overall, this device has been full of surprises. From the great screen and keyboard, to the awesome trackpad, to the surprising performance of the Braswell chip inside. Overall, I'd have to say Viglin has knocked it out of the park with this device. At a decent price, about $270 US, I assume that if it's marketed correctly, they'll sell a ton of these things to the education sector. And that's a good thing. It means a lot of students are going to get a quality Chromebook and a quality Chrome OS experience. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And until next time, we'll see you.